Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a simple network with water and power on the battery experimental branch. As always, take this with a pinch of salt as this is on a separate branch. Stuff could change between now and this going live whenever that may be. Also, you are going to see some very, very cheap crafting recipe prices. Take no notice of them, they're purely for testing purposes. They're probably not going to be this cheap at launch. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to your tier 3 and you will locate the biofuel water pump, which is craftable on the machining bench, along with the water barrel, again, which is also on the machining bench, and the tier 3 rain reservoir, which is also craftable on the machining bench. And if you haven't seen anything to do with the batteries yet, you do get the batteries in tier 4 right under your electricity tool. You'll get the basic battery along with the basic battery pack and the advanced battery pack and the advanced battery. That is where you get them. In this video, I am just going to show you how to set up a basic network along with how to incorporate water into that network as well so you can be fully off the grid and self-reliant within Icarus. I would like to know your opinions on this down in the comments so make sure you sound off down there and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. So for the purpose of this video, the items we're going to be using is the electricity tool, the water pipe tool, along with the new water borer. We're going to be using the iron crop plot tier 3 rain reservoir for storing water, an advanced battery rack and a new water barrel which can hold 300,000 water. So the new water borer item requires 1,000 power and it provides 1,000 water. These only can be attached to geysers. So let's go ahead and deploy this first. Now let's go ahead and place down our power generation a wind turbine which produces 1750 power so let's just go ahead and place that yeah let's go ahead and place down a advanced battery rack this does have power on it already as this is what i used on my live stream today so let's just place that there it's not full now let's go ahead and place down the water barrel this does need to have a roof over it so let's just go ahead and place that in there like that. Let's go and place the rain reservoir down. Yeah, it is a little small. I think that's a bug. So let's just place that there. That is the new tier 3 rain reservoir. So now you're going to have to hook all of this up to get it working. Let's get that crop plot down. Let's just place that in the middle, I guess. So now what we're going to have to do is get all this hooked up. Let's go ahead, connect the power midway there because you want to you want to join. Like you want a connection point like that. So now let's go ahead and hook that up. Now what we're going to need to do is hook the power up to the advanced battery rack. Now what we need to do is run water from the water borer. Let's go midway here. So it creates a connection point. You want to feed one into the barrel, one into the crop plot of choice. And next up is you want to run the pipe into the tier 3 rain reservoir once you've done that this will start collecting water and this will also going to be collecting water basically this is going to be your overflow for whenever this is used in water or when it's needing to be filled up these will work with each other so if one starts emptying the other one will start filling it up depending on the input and output of your water the way this works is this produces 1750 power which gets sent to the water borer which requires 1000 power it's outputting 1000 water this crop plot is only requiring 15 water so all of the surplus is getting fed to these two water containers and then all of the excess power which is being generated which is 750 is going straight to the battery network and this will continuously just go in a loop feeding all of these items this is just a very basic network setup but i hope you get my point let me know down in the comments what you think of this as always if you found it helpful hit that like button and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching everybody and i'll see you all in my next video